So in this video, we will see like how to create a journal entry and thereafter we will see how to create a ledger, trial balance, uh, statement of profit or loss account and uh, uh, SOFP. Okay. So we will uh, progressively we will move to from one concept to another concept. So we'll start to create first some journal entries. So we'll create journal entries for these transactions. There are around some 12 transactions here. Okay. So to create any transactions, it's like quite easy. You have to remember this law. Okay. The rule is you just have to know whether what you're dealing with is a asset expense or a loss. Okay. That you should like clearly know. We've already explained what is an asset and what are the expenses are. And you should clearly know what are liabilities, equity and profit. Okay. So these two distinctions, if you know correctly, then it's like quite easy to create a uh, accounting journal entry. If you want to increase an asset expense loss de debited, if you want to decrease it, you do the opposite, which is credited. If you want to increase a liability, equity, profit credited, if you want to decrease it, you have to debit it. Okay. So somehow you have to remember this because like without remembering this, you cannot do a journal entry okay not only for creating a journal entry we will also see later how to create uh, without using uh, ledger or trial balance how we could start from creating a journal directly we could go to the balance sheet and p and l okay so that also we will see that kind of a uh, movement okay so first we will start with the first entry uh, mr somu commands printing business with a cash of with a cash of uh, one lakh twenty thousand. Okay, so first we'll start here. See, the entry should always have a date. Okay, the entry should always have a date. So we will mark it as some. We'll use the same date if possible, like one uh, one uh, twenty twenty one. Okay, that is a date we will. I think we can always use. So thereafter, we have some headings. Okay, so headings. I think I, I will put it here. So headings for all this, we'll put as a date here. Okay. The journal entry we'll put here. So journal entry we'll put here. Thereafter, we'll put the uh, debit and credit number. We'll put it here. Okay, so we'll have these columns like this. Okay, if you want, we can have also like colored columns. We can have debit column one color and credit column one color. That doesn't matter. So we'll start with the entry here. So every entry, once you have put a date, okay, you have to put that it's a debt item. Okay, and usually the second item to which is is a two item. Okay, that's how it usually comes. So this is a format that we have to use for almost all the entries. So what we'll do, we'll copy this and we will uh, paste it for the next one also. Okay. So we don't need to have it as a bold item. So we'll just remove the bold elements. Okay. Hopefully here is also it's not bold. Okay. Done. If you are, or if you want, we can also put it in a separate color or font color. So that's it's like quite visible for you. If you want, we can put red. Okay, I think red looks uh, much visible. We'll take we'll, we'll take it in bold. Okay, so all the areas where we type it will be in red. Okay, so journal entry will put it in red. So we'll start. The first entry is. Somu commands a printing business with the cash of 1,20,000. Now, has the what is the asset here? The asset here is the cash, right? The company has received cash. How much? It has received 1,20,000. Okay, done. And two, who is like so? In we have seen that. If you want to increase an asset, okay, if you want to increase an asset, you have to debit it. So you know that what is being brought in is cash, okay, and cash is an asset, you have to increase it, so you have to debit it. Now you have made a debit, so now you have to do a equal credit, okay. So the equal credit is 
you have like put one number on the debit side okay so credit side you have to create another number so you have to increase these only okay you have in, increased the asset okay you have to increase the liability equity or profit so which one will increase we will increase the equity okay equity or liability so what we'll do is we'll put it as equity capital or we can simply put it as capital itself okay that doesn't matter so we'll put it as capital we don't need to put it as SOMO's capital or SOMO capital. We will just put it as just capital. Okay. So that's the first entry. The second one, we will just start. The second one is loan for business. So we will just like copy these entries so that we can we can use it elsewhere also. okay so we'll start so now loan for business borrowed a loan from bank is 10000 rupees now has the company received cash or not okay they have borrowed a loan that means they have received cash so cash is an asset you have to increase an asset so again debit it okay you again have to debit it okay the amount is 10000 now you have to increase the liability also right you have to increase the liability also so how would you increase it okay if you want to increase a liability you have to credit it okay so debit is this one the credit is the below part okay but what wordings you will put okay as it is a bank loan you just put it as bank loan itself okay the next one asset purchased by a cash so you use cash to buy a machine now is cash coming inside your business or going outside your business it's going outside your business okay so your cash is your asset is decreasing your if your asset is decreasing you have to put it as a credit okay so now your cash is a is you have to credit it okay because your cash is going out of your business but you are getting something something else what you are getting a machinery okay this machinery is a this machinery is a asset so you are increase you have to increase that asset how do you increase it you have to debit it again okay so machine okay so machine you have bought okay so machine is purchased so you can put it as 20,000. So you look here, what is happening here is on the asset side, okay, on the asset side, your cash is reduced and your, it is like replaced with the machine, okay. So it is only on the asset side things are moving, okay. On the liability side, you are not touching anything, okay. So you are reducing one asset and you are increasing another asset. So we will go to the next concept. So the next concept is depreciation on machinery okay your machinery gets depreciated okay your value of machine gets is falling down so what we'll do now that that is a depreciation okay that is a depreciation depreciation is what is an expense okay so if uh, if there's an ex expense you have to and if you if you are incurring that expense you have to debit it okay so depreciation is thousand okay so depreciation is an expense you have to increase that you have to increase it okay how do you increase it you debit it but if but what happens to your machinery your value of machinery falls down right if you're if you're depreciating your value of machinery falls down okay so how do you record the machinery value falling down just put machine okay just put machine now what happens is okay now take the same thousand and put it on the credit side okay so now what happens is the value of machine should fall okay the value of the asset should be decreased so to decrease the value of an asset you have credited have you credited it yes so 
that's about the concept here okay so we'll still copy the rules uh, as we are like going below we should have the rules in our before us okay we'll move on to the next one income via cash okay received commission of 10000 by cash now again the question you are receiving a cash is it an cash is an asset you have to increase that asset how debit it okay you have to debit it so you put it as cash okay this received commission is it an is it an income or not yes if it's an income and you want to increase it how do you increase it in to increase credit to increase liability equal equity and profit okay so you can even put income here okay well, you can put liability income okay if you want we can even put income so that it's like quite easy so because earlier we had expense here we'll put income okay so credit to increase income how can we increase income we'll just have to put it as a okay we have to just credit it okay by how much 10000 okay so next one is expense paid via cash okay so cash paid to rahul okay so rahul is some kind of a person to whom we are paying okay so uh, we can say that rahul is some kind of an expense okay he is like uh, he is like given us some goods or he is like uh, given us his space for rent or something so we have to pay him so if we want to pay him first our cash goes out if our cash goes out it is credit okay as simple as that it's credit and now this is an expense okay so if you want to increase an expense or you want to record an expense you have to debit it okay so we can put it as rahul itself so to rahul we have paid 2000 cash so we'll go to the next one the expenses via cash paid a salary by check okay so as it is a check from where your money is going is from your bank okay so your bank money goes so as your bank is an asset the money goes out you have to credit it and you are paying salary you have you have to record a salary which is an expense to increase any expense you have to debit it So it is thousand here so next we'll move on to the to the next entry so next entry is going to be a cash deposit so a cash is deposited deposited into the bank so again what happens here is the bank which is an asset the cash is also an asset so we have to increase one asset and decrease another asset okay so as cash is being deposited into the bank the cash level falls okay so that has to be credited okay and the bank that asset value increases so that is to be debited so we'll just put the numbers here so the next entry is cash sales so we are selling some goods for cash okay as we are selling for cash cash is an asset so we are going to get that cash so our cash balance is going to increase and the sales is a kind of an income right so if you want to record an income okay we have to credit it so we will credit the sales so we will use 14000 as a number so 
so the next item is credit sales okay so goods sold to murugan for 15000 okay so murugan is a uh, who, who is murugan okay so we'll first uh, we'll first try to solve the sales element here okay see again sales is a income okay so we'll put it as credit sales okay we can put it as credit sales okay and now on the other side on the other side what we can do is we can murugan okay is a person who has bought the goods on credit okay so he's a debtor okay he's a debtor so you can use the word debtor to mention him or you can use the word bills receivable to mention him okay so it's all up to you or you can simply refer to him as murugan itself okay so what we'll do we will take him as a uh, accounts receivable so it's only up to you you can use anything you can use the word debtor bills receivable accounts receivable or just the word morgan itself the name of the person okay so that comes to 15000 so the next entry we are going to look at is cash purchase okay so we are going to give cash and get the uh, goods okay so cash is going to go out of your business so cash has to be credited and you are purchasing some goods okay so purchase is an expense so to in show purchase you have to debit it so that value comes to 5000 So the last entry that we are going to look at is credit purchase. So we are purchasing something from Raju. Okay. So like last entry, we also saw that any purchase is an expense. Okay. And to increase an expense, you have to debit it. Okay. So we will show it as credit purchase. Okay. As we have bought it from Murugan, who is selling the goods for us on credit. Okay. We can show... Uh, show Mr. Raju as a creditor. We can show him as a creditor or accounts payable. So you can just show it as accounts payable here. 